back again at the mather here and it's show time been sitting here we see the uh i don't know if that last train was a csx train or an ns train but it had two csx leaders in it the csx may be hauling the coal out of bailey now who knows i don't know that whether well, this this is maybe it was all norfolk southern track maybe it's shared now i don't know this is the uh, load coming out of waynesburg they're That's a uh, number 10 turnout up there he's going to be going through. So we're at Mather. Mather's an old mining town. <laughs> this is my lucky day. I caught this guy up in Waynesburg about an hour ago. He had to take siding and let that other two empties go by, actually. All right. 4294 1142 Nice I don't like this with my back to a moving train I'm going to turn around here in a minute Always face the moving train. I just want to get to see the locos. Okay. This, when I caught this train in Waynesburg, it had, uh, sounded like it had several flat spots going to cars, car wheels. We got a couple Conrail cars in this one too. Oh yeah, listen to that rail singing. <laughs> I love it. There's a funny looking bottom. There's Conrail. That baby's been around. Nice. Uh oh. That didn't sound good. These loads are coming out of Bailey Mine or Blacksville Mine, one of the two. They're, uh, this train is an eastbound train. They've got a couple of uh, hopper cars. A lot of hoppers. There's another, another one. Another funny bottom. I don't know what those cars, the bottom cars like that are called. These are called bathtub cars. Conrail quality! Love it! I get excited sometimes when I take, this is my day off. Guess what I'm doing? <laughs> Unbelievable. I didn't like the sound of that one. I don't know what degree curve it is, but not very much. Probably about a four or five degree curve at the very most. And I, the sounds of those engines, I don't think, uh, I think they're going uh, either on level or downgrade. They need the sound to be running too hard. I love to see coal moving. I don't know what they put in these cars. It looks like they leave the ends open a little bit. We're, we have get about 115 ton in our in our bottom discharge copper cars, so these might be a little bit less. Again, I don't know. NS used to have a stipulation they only wanted 100 ton in a car, but 
that may not be the case now and it may be different at different places also I don't know that I don't know NS operating rules very well <laughs> okay Fred on the end. I have no clue where the uh, destination of that train is, but I know the origins in Greene County. I know that for a fact. I got a couple other little treats here before I, if you watched the last video, I made the empties going through here with the CSX trains. I showed you the Pandrel plates over there and the derail. This is a culvert pipe. And it just reminded me sitting here waiting for this train, my dad used to call them tin whistles. And also, when the, when the groundhogs would run and hide in the tin whistles, he used to call the groundhogs whistle pigs. <laughs> so that, re that reminded me of that. Two more things I want to show you here before I head back to the house. Had a good day rail fanning for a day off. I love this. All that OTM ties. I was sitting over there smelling the creosote. You know my brain's warped do that on my day off <laughs> here's here's the uh, close-up of the pandrel see that says uh, pandrel F on it what did I do with the clip here's the clip I like these I sure wish we had more of them that uh, that goes in there like that and then this uh, this clamps down really tight on the on the uh, on the rail uh, base. I like it. You got to drive those in with a uh, sledgehammer to get in, and they fit tight, nice and tight. Very good. These, these are uh, regulator brooms. I've never showed you these up close before. I got a pile of them over there. This is an oddball. This is a hollow. I don't think this will last very long. All of ours are solid. Here's a solid one that I found. I've never seen this before with this end being metal. Wow, I bet that's gruesome. I bet that throws a lot of sparks. None of ours have the uh, metal ends. So this is the first one I've ever seen like that. But it is a solid. Uh, and this is the uh, clamp. It goes down here and then you put another broom on this side here, and that goes through, and the, the bolt you tighten it up on the or a nut to tighten up over here. This has been burnt off, so you can't show you. I'll show you sometime the art new ones. That's how that fits in the regulators. Okay, oh, here's another neat thing I found. I'm pretty sure this is a grinding wheel off of uh, one of the big grinders, it's worn down pretty good. It's all kind of neat stuff happening here today. Alrighty, this is Mather PA, and we're out. Happy rails to you until we meet again. Thanks for watching.